Hello everyone, Chris here, and today I want to talk a little bit about LastPass, which is a password manager uh, that you can download and install on your different browsers, which would include like Firefox, Chrome, Internet Explorer, and also your different mobile devices, which would include, uh, well, mostly Android and iPhone, of course. Um, now one thing to note is that for you to actually be able to use LastPass with Android and iPhone, um, that does require LastPass Premium, which is like a dollar a month, which is really nothing at all. Um, but what LastPass does, and a little bit differently than say the standard password manager is built into Chrome and Firefox, um, is that LastPass actually has your passwords synchronized with the server, the LastPass server. So uh, whenever you use LastPass and you log into your LastPass account, um, you are essentially, well, accessing the passwords that are stored on the server. So if you're in a different browser, say one time you're working in Chrome, another time you're working in Firefox, or a different computer, maybe you all decided to access your passwords at the work computer. You can do that and it'll be consistent through all the different devices without you having to import or export your different passwords, uh, which can actually kind of be a pain in the butt. And another thing uh, LastPass actually does is it saves uh, or auto fills in your passwords and emails whenever you're on a recognized site. So right here, you can see we're at Gmail. And if I was to hit sign in with a different account, let's just remove this one and we'll go back to the main login screen where, it, where Google hasn't recognized that we've actually logged in at this device at all. And you can see that LastPass is automatically filling in um, this username from the list of different usernames and passwords we have stored for Google here. So for instance, to see the username and password that we've had uh, set up for this Google login, we could go up to the browser icon here, which is installed as a browser plugin, show matching sites, look at this one, Chris Tutorials uh, YouTube at gmail.com, well, just YT, and you can edit it, see all the data, uh, change it around if you need to. Of course, I'm obviously not going to show the password, but um, you get the idea. It just stores all that stuff on the server for you. And then how you actually access it, uh, whenever you install the browser extension or using the mobile app, or even the Windows Store has a universal Windows app version of LastPass now, I believe. Um, you just click here, and before you log in, it would prompt you to put in your email address and your master password. So the one password you would still have to remember using this, um, at least as far as your web-based passwords go, is the mas master password you set for LastPass. So it should obviously be something you remember. But for the other 20, 30, 40, 50 sites you have out there where you've created a user account and maybe you wanted a uh, long, secure password that's a bit hard to remember, um, and one for each different site, you can manage that with LastPass and because it basically remembers it all for you as long as you don't forget your master password ever, please don't do that, um, you'll be good to go and you can have LastPass autofill in the passwords on these different forms um, for logging in on different sites across the web. Now uh, if I actually hadn't had uh, this uh, account here and we wanted to add one in, actually we'll just go ahead and do that. I'll copy the password and delete this from LastPass. And what I'll show you is actually adding an account into LastPass. It's very simple. Um, basically, whenever you go to a site to log in at the first time, um, you've, you'd of course see no one here because there's no account now in LastPass. You put in the email address just like you were logging in normally. Put in the password just like you're logging in normally. Of course, I'm using copy paste here. Sign in. And then it will pop up at the top, should LastPass remember this username and password. Um, and also, yeah, that's, that's something that the Google Chrome and Firefox will do as well, generally. But the thing is, you have to import it between the different browsers or different computers that you use. So I'm going to hit back here to actually uh, hit the save button on, it, on this so that I can save the username, the password, and the web address for this username and password to trigger on. Save that in there, and now any other time we need to log in again, uh, LastPass would basically just automatically fill that in, as it did here. So we can sign in, go to the email account, <clears throat> and all in all, it just becomes uh, very simple to actually manage your passwords across different devices, different computers, and different web browsers. 
So uh, that's what I use for as my password manager. Um, I probably recommend it. I'd say give it a try, see if you like it. And uh, aside from that, I've been Chris. I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial, and I'll see you in my next video.